now it's time to talk about the while loop in Python. On my screen I have the Python shell on the left side where I'll run the program called while underscore demo dot pi that I have on the right side of my screen. I use the run menu run module command to make that happen. And as we'll see, the while loop here is going to be executing a suite or a block of code if its condition is true. For example, here we see the counter variable is equal to three. The while statement has its condition that follows it and a colon. If that evaluates to a true condition, then it's going to execute the indented block or suite of code. So since three is greater than zero, it is going to execute this print statement counting down that value three. And then we see a decrement statement here where counter will equal counter minus one or counter will be two. So the first time through, it printed out counting down and the value three, and then it subtracted one from the counter. It will then go back to the top and check that condition again. Two is greater than zero, so it will also execute that print statement and subtract one. So we see it did print out counting down and the value two, and then it subtracted one, so now counter is one. 1 is greater than 0, so it will also print out counting down with the counter value of 1. And then it will subtract 1 from 1, and counter will then be equal to 0. So we see it did print out that counting down and the value 1. As it goes back to the top of the while loop, 0 will be evaluated with greater than 0 which is a false condition. So now the while loop is finished, its conditional statement has become false, and the execution of the program would resume on the statement below that. Now it's possible that a while loop might never execute. Remember the counter variable is now zero, and zero is not greater than zero, so the print statement never executes sweet, and the other one, when condition is false, never gets printed as we see over here. So if you have a false condition, the loop will never execute. If you have a true condition, something that's always true, which is a common Python idiom to use while one, we also could have put while true, it's just more verbiage. So we'll always execute at least once this print statement. And then it checks a condition here, if not counter. Uh, so if the counter variable is zero, that's false. Not false is true. And if true statement will execute its suite of code. In this case, break will cause the while loop to exit. The break statement can be used to exit a while loop before the while condition becomes false. Obviously, with a static value of 1, that while loop would never become false, so it would be critical to be able to break out of that loop. While loops can be used to process things that might contain a sequence until that sequence is empty. For example, here we see names is a list with a couple different names in it. As long as you have a element like Ellen and Tom strings inside of that list, that list will be considered true. If it was an empty list, it'd be considered false. So while and then the condition names is considered true initially. And we see then a print statement names.pop as you recall, the pop method of a list will remove one element. So it actually printed the element Ellen, the last element, and it's removed from the list and then is going as well. So now the while loop will return to the top. The list now contains Tom. That's true, so it prints Tom is going. 
because that names list method pop removed name Tom and printed it out. Now that both names are removed or popped off that list, the while loop tries to execute again, but with an empty list it finds that condition false, so the loop is over. In our last example, we'll see another way that these while loops can be used to process something like a list. In this case, the list is the results 1, 0, and 1. We'll have a variable to track how many results we've processed and a variable to track how many of those results were passed. So while results, again, a list containing elements will be considered true, will increment by one that process value. So process becomes one. We then capture in the result variable a element that is popped off the results list. The first time through, it'll be one. One is considered a true value that's stored in result. Not a true value is considered a false value. So this if condition is false, it doesn't execute the continue statement. So we go on down and execute past plus equal one, which will increment the past variable by one. So when you get a true result, past is going to be incremented by one. The while loop would then continue to the top where we'd be looking at the results with one and zero in there. We'll increment process by one again, so now it's two. We'll capture the next result, which is zero, by popping off that last value. Zero is considered a false value stored in result. Not false is true. So if this is true, this continue statement executes. A continue statement will cause the while loop to start over or continue. So it will resume at the top of the loop. So we'd be back to while with the results list now only containing that value one. So we'll increment processed again, capture that final result of one by popping that value off. One is a true value, not true is false. So the if condition is false, the continue statement does not execute. So the pass statement executes. It increments past. So now past is two. It tries to continue the while loop, evaluates what results is. Results would now be an empty list. Once you've processed everything in a sequence like this, or if your while condition might become false, in either case, essentially that's what's happened. Once the while condition becomes false, the loop is normally over. You can add an additional clause to a while loop that will only execute when the while condition has become false. In this case, it would then print out how many had processed and how many had passed. And we see there it processed three and passed two. Now, if we had used a break statement to exit the while loop before the while condition had changed, to false, then the else clause would not execute. So there you see how to use the while statement in Python to control the flow of your code execution to execute a suite or block of code while a condition is true.